In the 1970s, the U.S. military proposed the Advanced Attack Helicopter Program AAH, during the Vietnam War, aiming to create an armed helicopter that combines protection, firepower, and mobility. The final result of this program is the famous AH-64 Apache. However, during the competition phase, there were designs from different companies, including the Boeing Vertol 235, which is known as the ugliest helicopter. At that time, armed helicopters were still a new concept, and no one knew what shape they should be designed in. The work was mainly based on the requirements given by the military and some ideas from designers. It is not entirely correct to say that the Boeing 235 is completely ugly. Its strange shape is only concentrated in the front, while other parts are quite normal. At that time, Boeing was also developing another YUH-61 transport aircraft and achieved some success. The Boeing 235 directly used some of the designs from the YUH-61, using two General Electric T-700 turboshaft engines as power, with a single output of 1680 horsepower, driving the four-blade propellers on the top. The tail boom and tail rotor of the helicopter are directly from the YUH-61. The weapon configuration of the 235 model is similar to other armed helicopters. It is equipped with a 30mm cannon installed in a turret under the front of the helicopter, with up to 1,200 rounds of ammunition. It can carry up to 16 Tau or Hellfire anti-tank missiles on the short wings on both sides of the fuselage and can also carry rocket launcher pods. The front of the helicopter does not adopt a symmetrical structure. The idea of Boeing's designers is to provide the pilot and the weapon operator with a wide field of view without increasing the size of the helicopter as much as possible. The position of the weapon operator is in the front right of the nose, and he is protected by armor and bulletproof glass canopy. Because there needs to be enough space for movement and to leave room for the pilot's field of view, the left side of the nose is much lower than the right side. The pilot's position on the left side of the aircraft's axis is further back, and he is also protected by bulletproof glass. This staggered arrangement of crew positions indeed ensures that the helicopter has a smaller frontal projection, which is conducive to reducing the area of protective armor and reducing weight. The field of view for the weapon operator is quite wide, but it also brings some disadvantages. The most direct one is that the pilot's right side field of view is blocked by the weapon operator's position, which is not conducive to flight. Another disadvantage is that it makes the aircraft look ugly. Almost everyone who has seen the Boeing 235 thinks it is the ugliest helicopter. In addition, this design is also not conducive to communication and rescue between the crew. The fuselage of the helicopter is reinforced, and the landing gear is a fixed tricycle configuration, with the tail wheel located near the belly of the tail boom. The main landing gear uses reinforced supports, which can withstand the impact of forced landing more effectively. The Boeing 235 did not produce a prototype. The company submitted a full-size model measuring 15.6 meters and related technical documents to the military for evaluation. The U.S. Army compared it with designs from companies such as Lockheed, and ultimately chose the AH-64 Apache armed helicopter. Boeing 235 subsequently lost the opportunity for further development, and it is believed that its low attractiveness had a negative impact on the military. There is no specific test data available, so it is impossible to accurately estimate the combat capabilities of this aircraft.